Hello, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Coaster Gel, Dongster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom discussion video. Now, this is a discussion video as part of the theme park newsroom playlist, and this is talking about dark rides at Alton Towers. Now, we already know about a brand new dark ride opening in March 2021 in the brand new World of David Williams area of the park, the rethemed Cloud Cuckoo Land. And this is Gangster Granny the Ride. This is the uh, Garmondale Dark Ride system. And this is going to be opening uh, next year. It's not too far around the corner. Don't forget the opening day of Alton Towers is still scheduled to be, as of the time of recording this, uh, 20th of March 2021 on the Saturday. I've got my half price offer, so I'm on standby just in case it changes. Um, but, talking about the opening of Gangster Granny and the Riders led me to think... What is the future of Dark Ride to Alton Towers? What's the next one to come in? Well, that's what I'm going to be discussing in this video. I've got three sites that I want to discuss with you and potential types of Dark Ride that I could see in this. You know, is it a brand new Dark Ride system? Is it a refurbishment of the current Dark Ride system? Might give you an idea of exactly what one of the Dark Rides is going to be. But before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,100 subs. And we're also getting closer and closer to 600,000 views across all the videos. Which is unbelievable considering we've only been operating for two years. You know, 600,000 views in total across two years is unbelievable. So thank you very much guys for that progress. And stay tuned because we've got a lot of content coming your way for the rest of this year. In the last two or three weeks we've got of 2020. If we can do anything to make these last two or three weeks of this terrible year great is the content we're going to deliver you uh we've got uh we were already uploaded the first video today which is of course talking about uh well showing a few of our best moments from this year five big big moments from this year and of course there will be part twos hopefully part threes and part fours etc uh to come uh going into the new year and get ready to go into the next theme park season also, we upload the theme park news update talking about the trap work being completed for Park du Bacasse. Go and watch that if you haven't already. And also stay tuned for more content coming along Christmas and the New Year. And for now, guys, make sure you go into the description down below, submit your video ideas, submit, uh, follow TikTok, tw uh, Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram. Also, guys, make sure you're commenting down below your questions for the 2K sub Q&A. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's have a look at three sites for the future dart rides of Alton Towers. So we're kicking off with an obvious choice, and that is the ever-aging jewel, the Haunted House Strikes Back. Uh, now, this first opened back in 2003. Uh, this was the refurbishment of the original Haunted House, which operated back in 1992, right up until its 10th birthday in 2002. Now, the added guns uh, was a welcome addition at first. Some of the nostalgia fans, you know, didn't really like it. However, over recent years, over the last few years, it has aged as a ride. It has aged. The effects have been broken. The ride's broken at certain times. There's been numerous efforts to try and maintain it, but it just still hasn't worked on a continuous basis. Jewel, in my opinion, is one of the next Alton Towers rides to go. In terms of all the attractions in the park, Jewel, in my opinion, is one of the next rides to go. And I think when we're looking at possible replacements for Jewel, I think we have to look a little bit deep into potential dart ride systems and not just refurbishing the ride. Now, in terms of what would I do if I was refurbishing the ride, I would take the guns off, I would give it a brand new storyline, I would give it some brand new meaning, I'd give it a brand new theme, I'd, give it, I'd keep the Haunted House style horror theming, uh, but I'd just, just update it, just keep updating it. Uh, that tunnel, yeah. Do you guys remember that tunnel? No, of course you don't, because it's been broken for a couple of years. Um, but I would, I would do some good stuff with that. I'd change it around a bit, maybe do some projection mapping inside the tunnel, so it looks like you're being chased by ghouls at the side of the tunnel, and because the tunnel loops around you as you go through that section, I'd like to see some projections maybe going around you. No VR, no VR, no 3D, no 4D, no nothing. Just normal 
haunted house dart ride with some added modern technology to make it a haunted experience unlike any other. Make it a family horror, obviously, but keep it family horror. Don't put anything big technology wise. Don't put VR, 3D, 4D, just make it like projection mapping, update the animatronics, maybe get a couple of screens in there if you wanted to, and just do what Valhalla will probably get in 2022 from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Give it a new soundtrack, give it a new storyline, give it a new kick of life, should we say. Uh, so I think that would be one route that could go down with Jewel. The other route would be to completely rip out the entire ride system and all the theming, etc. And I would just start from scratch. A brand new Haunted House Dart Ride from scratch. Uh, a brand new Dart Ride system, a brand new story, a brand new name completely from scratch. And just going back to the old principles of the Haunted House, but again using some of the stuff that I've said about the possible major overhaul of Jewel. Bring in the projection mapping, the co a couple of screens here and there, update the animatronics, some new updated animatronics from scratch, and just overall I think that's the two routes that could do go down. That's the only two routes I think they can go down. Just completely update it, or just completely rip it out and bring in a brand new modern technology version of a classic haunted house dart ride that is the route i think they will go down dart ride number two it is the building that used to be known more recently as project 42 but of course we knew it for a few years as nemesis sub terror in forbidden valley now this was an abc rides dark drop tower system that operated between 2012 and 2016 I, i'm very proud to say i did do the ride i didn't do the original original you know before the six week changes in the same year it opened um you know before they made six weeks worth of changes but i did do nemesis of terror at all i did it which was good it was great that i got that right because it's kind of like it's kind of like doing nickelodeon out of control it's kind of like doing that for a year like the if you got to do nickelodeon out of control you're lucky if you do Nemesis of Terror over the few years it's been open, you are a lucky man or woman or group of people. Um, now, you know, and obviously more recently we had Project 42 for a couple of years, which is a Scarefest maze. We still don't know if that's coming back next year for Scarefest for 2021. Obviously, hopefully, if everyone sticks to the rules and everyone behaves themselves, COVID will be gone before ha next Halloween. Hopefully. So... You know, hopefully that might come back in Scarefest next year. If it doesn't come back for Scarefest 2021, then it could mean a permanent closure and it wasn't just COVID being a massive hurdle in operating Project 42 for this year's Scarefest. Um, so I think that if it doesn't open for next year's Scarefest, that signals to us that it isn't just COVID, it is a permanent closure for Project 42 and that building once again remains abandoned. Uh, now, with that building, there's some stuff you could do with it. You could bring in an original Dark Apocalypse theme. You could bring in a secret um, sort of mutated creature that, so, that seems to be terrorizing the Nemesis eggs and it seems to be a new creature that's sort of picking apart the species of the nemesis one by one and they want to study this beast and suddenly like the nemesis egg it gets let loose and it's sort of taken over the base and again in terms of data ride systems again you could use a different type of thing um one thing i think this building could use and it depends on the success of what happens here with what's happening at thought park next year is maybe a similar system to Black Mirror Labyrinth. Now, this is the new Labyrinth system operating in the old building, which used to be home to Walking Dead Living Nightmare. It used to be home to Cabin in the Woods, The Passing. There's a lot of scare, uh, Fright Night stuff going on down there. It's now a permanent building, and they're using the old Slammer queue for, for, Bla uh, for, for Black Mirror Labyrinth. And that kind of experience if they can take that give it a phalanx dark opera apocalypse theme and do something different with it to make it more unique than black mirror labyrinth in its own way then i think that's a great experience to put in that subterra building and i think that something actually would be fantastic especially if that's what black mirror labyrinth could be i think something technological but also something that could be actor led as well and I know that actor led is a big mistake. We know that Subterra was taking up a lot of the budget for Alton Towers. That's why it closed as part of the Towers Loving Care program after the Spiler incident. But I do think that uh, Nemesis Subterra really has a good shot of getting something new put in there. Maybe not Nemesis Subterra Reborn, but 
a Dark Apocalypse themed walkthrough experience with the same kind of style as Black Mirror Labyrinth but with a more unique ending. So I think that's what we're looking at here uh, if Nemesis of Terror's site was to get a new uh, home or a new resident in the home, shall we say. Finally, Dark Ride number three. Now you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, Coaster Chow. Why have you listed the Mutiny Bay Courtyard? And why have you listed all the stuff on the outside of the Mooney Bay Courtyard? Well, I did have a thought, and it was a very interesting thought. Why not close the entire courtyard and the uh, eating places? Maybe put some new eating places in somewhere else around the park to fill the void left by the ones outside the courtyard. But close the entire courtyard and I would give Mutiny Bay its own dart ride. Now, you might think I'm absolutely mental here, but just hear me out. What if you got a wonderful pirate orig original pirate themed dart ride, a swashbuckling new adventure in Mutiny Bay? Because that, that area has not really had a new attraction since Wicker Man in 2018. However, in terms of pirate themed attractions, it's not had a new pirate themed attraction since the area actually opened in 2008. So I'd like to see a pirate themed attraction outside outside opposite Wicker Man in the courtyard where Darkest Depths uh, was located before this season's Scarefest. Of course, that went down into the old zombie scare zone uh, area. But, you know, I think the courtyard could become a permanent dark ride home if you close the whole building off. You take everything out, you close the building off. You could get a nice dark ride system in. Uh, whether it be tracked, whether it be trackless, I don't care. You could do some good stuff with this and give it a nice storyline, like venturing out into to fight the, you know, even bring some of the old Mutiny Bay show storylines back. Maybe you do a dark ride based on Curse of the Red Skull, or you do a sort of dark ride based on the kidnap of Lady Victoria Sponge, or maybe you do a different dark ride but use some of the characters from the shows, like the. Uh, Sharp Tooth Jack from Curse of the Red Skull and Victoria Sponge and you know you use those sort of characters and you bring them into it into this family pirate dart ride experience and there's many different dart ride systems you could use you could call upon anyone to do this dart ride system uh, Kapu Design Works uh, you could even do Merlin Magic Making you can call on them to do some theming items and maybe get uh, gr um, Garmendale back in after the success of Gangster Granny and do another dark ride system but different to Gangster Granny. Um, or maybe you get Mac Rides in to, to, to do a different dark ride system, whether it be water based or land based with track or trackless. You know, there's a few different ways you could go, but I think that a permanent pirate dark ride system would be a decent shout. And I think it would really make space for the courtyard because, of course, you know, the cart ride, a courtyard, first of all, is a massive, massive piece of land. And, you know, it's like the pirate, it's like the whole pirate thing, like, Yar, we've just purchased this whole part of the land, known as the courtyard, and now we're closing it up, ready for a bucket adventure. Um, <laughs> wrong pirate impression, I know. But, if you think about it, the courtyard is a massive area, and you do something with that whole area, you can bring in... Um, the dart ride system and don't forget these had this courtyard had plans they were going to bring in a smokehouse restaurant now you're probably thinking again you've got to look at the eating um the dining experiences on the outside of the courtyard as well as the welcome in uh as a potential hurdle to maybe not turn this into a dart ride however i think you could do some different things around the rest of the resort to make up for the for the loss of these places the welcome in that's uh you know one i would like to see you know get relocated and rethemed. Maybe if Subterra won't become another attraction again, maybe you could create uh, a special inn that you could go to as like an extra to the roller coaster restaurant. So it's like a it's like a two for one Forbidden Valley deal past park hours. So you get the roller coaster restaurant and you get the Dark Apocalypse Inn sort of thing. I don't know. Something like that maybe to fill the void if welcoming was to go. But that whole courtyard space is a massive piece of land, and I could see, I could really generally see a tracked or trackless dart ride by anyone themed to pirates, including some of the previous characters like Sharp Tooth Jack, Victoria Sponge, bring them all in, bring them all up, and get them in the adventure. And I think you could give Mutiny Bay a new lease of life with this brand new attraction. Comment down below what you think about this idea. I don't think I don't think many people. I mean, comment down below if you've suggested this being a potential dark ride site before, like over the past ten years or so. But in my personal opinion, or from what I know, I mean, I don't know much sometimes. 
put, as far as I know, I don't think many people have said that the courtyard could be a dark ride site. So I think you could do something clever with this. And I might actually do a separate video to further on that point about what you could do inside the building in certain areas of the uh, the courtyard area. So comment down below what you think, and I might do a separate video um, sort of discussing what the courtyard area would look like as a dark ride for Mutiny Bay. But that's just a final site to sort of uh, pip pinch your teeth into and i think all three sites to be fair look like decent dark ride experiences and i cannot wait to see which each site would bring in the future of alton towers there we go my fine fellows and ladies that is the dark ride discussion for alton towers what is the next dark ride uh, Subterra site, prime prime site after the Subterra experience and the project 42 scarefest experience um jewel primed ready for refurbishment it's one of the attractions that needs to either go or get a major overhaul in the next couple of years now it's one of the lacking attractions in my opinion so it needs to do it needs to go through that big treatment now what chessington have done with their attractions it needs to go through that massive overhaul uh, like what nemesis could be going through in the next couple of years as well uh, and finally the courtyard site like i said i don't think many people suggest this as a dark ride site but i think this is prime 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 land would you click I mean the sky ride goes right over the courtyard like just over the courtyard so would you have to close the sky ride because of you know trying to uh, close the building off and build a roof on it you know would you have to close the sky ride for a period of time to to work on the roof of turning the courtyard into a dart ride I don't know I don't know um, but I think that all three are prime dart ride sites I think that if the nemesis of terror site does not get used for a dart ride it'll either be scarefest continuously or I think I could do with a, a rethemed, relocated welcome in to create the Dark Apocalypse bar or the Dark Apocalypse Inn or something. Again, that and and you know, for a promotional deal for a, a outside park house experience, having the Dark Apocalypse Inn in the Subterra building and um, the Rollercoaster Restaurant outside park hours for hotel guests, or you just come for the restaurant, you can open the inn, and then that's a two for one deal. Then that's even more to offer past park hours for Alton Towers. So. It would bring a lot more customers into the Forbidden Valley area if they want a drink at the bar as well. And you can sort of, you know, pass park hours. You can use a couple of hours to get ready with the bar and, you know, put some outside tables in. And obviously, if COVID's still around, do it at a social distance. Um, you know, the, the, the potential's there for an inn inside Subterra if it's not going to be another attraction. Uh, but I think the courtyard is a prime site. I think it's not hardly been discussed, I think. Uh, so Terra is obviously a prime site for an attraction anyway. And obviously Jewel needs an overhaul drastically now. Um, so I think I think Jewel was the easiest to predict to put a dart ride in. I think that was the easiest one to do. Subterra, 50-50. We don't know if it's Scarefest related anymore. We don't know if it's ride related anymore uh, with what's happening to it. With nothing happening to it at the minute. But I guess the judge will be decided, you know, the verdict will be decided uh, at Scarefest next year when we see if Project 42 is definitely coming back next year. If not, then we can say bye-bye to the Subterra building for now. Uh, and the Courtyard site, again... Undiscovered tap potential for a pirate themed dark ride for families. Comment down below what you think. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Coop living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers tastic.